Reassure me, we aren't going to have to force that one, are we? I don't think we're even capable of doing it. You're going to have to find a way to open it. Why, of course. And what's inside? Something to vanquish them with? Perfect. So, how does it open? We'll need several keys. I found a note from the architect who conceived the mechanism in Mortimer's secret study. We have to first gather six objects before we try anything. Are your six objects the keys? Exactly. We have the Clement III cross, the nails, the Gutenberg Bible, the exegesis of Judas, an armillary sphere, and all we need to match up the dates between the different calendars. One last thing before you go. Be very careful. If you come across anyone, they can all potentially be spies of Mortimer or Holm. Don't ever confide in anyone because a demon can slip inside them at any moment. Wait, not all of them though. Take Washington. Especially Washington. He's been conditioned by Mortimer for years. Look at them for crying out loud. How do you explain their behavior otherwise? The most influential politicians in the Western world gather together without the least protection, without a single aid to assist them, to participate in a conference during which the guests start dropping like flies. Me, Adams, Peru, Hillsborough. Look at the number of calamities that have happened over the past few days. And not one of them has asked to leave the island? Do you find that normal? You'll see. Go up to the manor to look for the keys, and I wager not one of them will speak to you about my being in Emily's room. Do you think so? Go on, you'll see. And come back with all the objects in one go. Time is against us. And remember, the code to get out of the secret office is 6646. Famous cross of Clément the Third. Perfect. And one key found. Right. Let's see if the statues are in place yet. That statue is not positioned correctly. Open sesame. So that's Pandora's box? An urn? Mother seemed worried that I was able to open it. Hmm. I wonder why. So, I did well not to touch it. Caesar's laurel wreath. Hmm. If Mortimer really is what my mother says he is, it could mean... No, that's impossible. No, no, not Caesar. So that's the exegesis of Judas. I hope Mortimer doesn't read it very often. 
Otherwise, he's going to notice that someone's stolen it. But that's just too bad. I need it. Right. I've got what I need. Now let's not waste any more time. His death is near, his brain is oozing by either ear. An armillary sphere. Perfect. That will save me some time. I only hope that he isn't going to realize it right away. see what I've found. There are pieces of paper in the ashes of the chimney. Someone's been burning something here. Incredible. He doesn't seem to want to speak to me about what happened between my mother and the Hillsborough sisters. Show me a little. Look, it's possible to distinguish two different writing styles. Hmm. The rest of the correspondence between my mother and Emma. Someone tried to burn an exchange of messages. I'm certain there must be more. Shit. What on earth is he doing? If you want my opinion, a, a servant must have burnt some old papers. That's all. Why, of course. You very nearly made me think that you were trying to hide something, Louis. No, I'm sure there must be other hidden messages. He won't let go. He's going to work his way back to the Bible if he continues. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. Oh, the Bible's still there. This time, it'll be a lot quicker. If I remember rightly, the code was 1191.
There. Those are the nails I was looking for. All right, come on, let's get out of here. 6466, six, six, if I remember correctly. So, good. You've managed to gather all the keys. Yes, that's right. I have everything. What should I start with? Place the Clement III cross on the console. Then you have to put the nails on the disc of the door. All right, my turn now. Go ahead, impress me. I'll shut up and let you concentrate. This exegesis contains comments from Judas on the different Gospels. It only contains certain chapters and verses, and the chapters are indicated by Roman numerals. The lexicon refers to different chapters and verses from the exegesis of Judas. Cross is stuck in the mechanism. I can't do anything.
chapter 24, verse 3. Jesus rose from the dead on the 14th of Nisan, 3,793, in Nazareth. He appeared with a halo above his head. It works. I hadn't seen those other wheels. But I don't know, I find this theme too close to the one that I used. I can feel the lever at the bottom. Good luck. I never doubted you, my son. <laughs> 